talked earlier about how important it is that you know what kind of plant material you're dealing with in your landscape. It's important for all sorts of reasons, how that plant will grow, what kinds of insects and pests, and all sorts of other diseases it might get. It's also important so that you know what you're dealing with in terms of its growth rate and its habit. So let's talk a little bit about deciduous trees and shrubs and how to differentiate between them, especially in winter condition. First start by knowing whether it is a tree or a shrub, and that sounds a little bit silly, but we have some shrub-like trees and some tree-like shrubs. That's a good designation or differentiation to begin with. Then what we look at is the overall form of that tree. It's going to be different when it's young, and of course, if it's well-grown, if it's been managed properly, it will be a different sort of a tree than it would be if it was on its own in the forest or really has had very little care. We look then at the arrangement of the buds on the branches. Are they alternate or are they opposite? That is a really key identification factor with deciduous trees and shrubs. It can be a little bit tricky on some that want to kind of change their minds or be a little bit subalternate or subopposite or whorled, but in general that is one of the very first things we look at, especially if you don't have any foliage. Remember that the foliage can blow all over the place in the winter. You might have leaves of an oak under an ash or leaves of a maple under a linden, and that can throw you off track if you're not looking at those other clues. We also then look at whether we have something that is called the terminal bud, and what does that terminal bud look like? In the case of oaks, as an example, they're clustered terminal buds. Beech, it is a single terminal bud, and then the axillary buds look just like the other ones, but point in different directions. Of course, with shrubs, we don't have that big massive trunk or the scaffold branches, but we still have some of the same characteristics that we use for identification. A lot of people think of shrubs as just a vase or a round meatball, and they all look the same. If you start with those same sorts of identification characteristics, which is the form to begin with, as, although sometimes they've been pruned into forms that you can't recognize, but then we go to the structure and the arrangement of the foliage. Opposite or alternate, that still applies with shrubs. And oftentimes with shrubs, one of the things you will see first in the winter months is those terminal floral buds, which were set on previous year's wood. Viburnums are a great example of that because you can differentiate between the vegetative buds and the floral buds, and that can help with identification. Again, you may also be able to see either the fruit itself, if it's still remaining, or the remains of that fruit, where the fruit was placed on the plant. That can also help with identification of shrubs. So it's really the same principles in terms of taking a look at what the form of the plant is, whether it's a tree or a shrub. Shrubs typically do not have a single trunk and they are not big massive plants. Trees typically do have a big trunk and they are a single stem or maybe a multi-stem. Then we look at whether the leaf arrangement is opposite or alternate. We pay attention to the buds and the bud structure and that at least gets us a little bit down the road to be able to identify trees and shrubs in winter condition.